It's Captain Kipper once again with another weekly uh, what I found in die casting. Uh, my collections and uh, collecting uh, for this last week. Uh, and it was a pretty good one. Uh, I would say a great one. I would even almost say super, except I didn't find a super. So, spoiler, uh, no supers. Um, but let's start the week. Um, Thy Village delivered once again. However, yeah, this was Sunday, last Sunday. Um, however, this, these are the only two bags I found the entire week. And uh, I'm just going to open up both. Uh, they're the reg prerequisite, $1.99. So, got a Tonka. It's actually metal, die cast, uh, made by Misto. Um, we'll uh, get there. We got a little pullback. <laughs> oh, I got another pullback, I think. Nope, no pullback. Just a little car. It is metal, though. No. Uh, we've got a matchbox helicopter that uh, pulls out. Police, Mission Police. This is the rescue copter. Uh, we got a date code on here. 180th scale. There's no date code, so... Hard to say when it was from. I'll have to look it up. Uh, this is, the, of course, the Baja Beagle. Beagle. <laughs> Excuse me. Baja Beetle. Uh, metal, metal casting. Uh, it's got a D date code, which puts it at 2011, 2012. 2011 for build. 2012, maybe for a model. Um... Tiny wear on the core, very sharpest of corners on the back. Uh, otherwise, almost in perfect condition. So, uh, you know, a little wear there, but uh, very nice metallic purple with a three on it and an orange interior. Looks like a little bit of dirt inside, but not bad. Uh, then we just got a Zyme, Zymex uh, fire truck that's missing most of its accoutrements. We got a Hot Wheels, very heavy casting. This is a metal body, uh, metal base uh, car. Of course, it's a Corvette. Um, just says 75, which is, of course, the copyright date of the casting, not when it was produced. Uh, there's no date code, so it's pre-2008. Um, I imagine with those wheels, it could be anywhere in the 90s. Nice flames on it. It is, of course, got rusty axles. And lastly, uh, this is the Firebird Funny Car, the splitting, splitting something. Uh, it's got a couple of different names. However, this one should have yellow tampos on the sides and on the hood and on this side, and very little of it remains. But this was the first year of this release, so 1978. This is the year of this car. It's the black wall air, the end of the red lines. Um, the wheel's a little bent because it's rubbing up against the uh, the casting side. Um, I might just clean off the rest of those tampos and be done with it. But uh, either way, I thought that was a nice car to get. Oh, and lastly, we got Stunt Track Driver. Which I don't know if you've ever played that game. I had that game and still have it on CD ROM. That was a fun game. Uh, let's see here. Stunt Track. Uh, this is the Shadow Mark 2A. Uh, it's, of course, got a little bit of an issue with the back end. I can fix that readily enough. Uh, you uh, just. There, and I just have to twist it later. That one's going to take a little bit more finesse to get it straightened out. But uh, that's that one. So, outside of that, um, what else did we find? Well, since I'm biking uh, to work these days, uh, I'm not going in the stores very often, but on occasion this week I did have to come in and and dropped my daughter off at her work at 8 o'clock in the morning, which meant I was near a store. So I would pop in and take a look. And uh, to some of my surprise, I found something I was looking for for the last couple of weeks, and that is the Silhouettes 
Uh, this is, the, of course, the Nissan Skyline silhouette. Um, and these are all, on my understanding, the livery to after real cars. So that's kind of cool. Uh, there is, of course, five cars in the set. Um, this is five of five. There's the Chevy Monza. There's the Porsche 935, a Greenwood Corvette, and an RWB Porsche. This was the only one that was on the pegs. This one was hidden behind some stuff. Unfortunately, it was the only one that was hidden behind some stuff. So this is the 76 Chevy Monza. So somebody must have picked up the set, and then maybe a couple extras, and they left a couple behind. One, obviously, they wanted to get themselves later. Sorry, dude, found it. <laughs> you always got to look behind things. Uh, people do hide stuff. Um, anyways, those are the only two this week I found. Uh, those, um, but that means they're around, so maybe somebody else will stock them. And you'll see why I think that later here. Um, so, um, that was Monday. So, Tuesday, I had to do some running around. I think it was raining. Um, and one of the things I found was some more LK's cars. So I picked them up. I got the 32 Ford, the Island Hopper. I'd be kind of cool if that was in the uh, Magnum PI livery. Uh, cool Combi. Um, that one there should be a duplicate. Um, these are not. I also got a couple of duplicate of the hot rods, so that we'll open those up here in a bit. Maybe not today. Um, I've got the 2016 Lamborghini Centurino Centar Centenario Roadster. Slow down and read it. He says, 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata and 19 Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Hot hatch. So, found those. Those are the ones I didn't have before. I picked up a 56 Ford F100 in that bicycle livery, and I believe that is also a duplicate, so we can open it up. And speaking of funny cars earlier, this is the Mustang funny card. Um, something with the lighting today. Not sure what it is. Um, anyways, this is the version that doesn't open anymore with the plastic base, not the metal. You can kind of see its lineage. That's what it is nowadays. And I got a couple of Matchbox that I didn't have. I got the 70 Chevy El Camino. I kind of like El Caminos. And I got a 71 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. And again, that's a duplicate to open at some time. Probably when I don't have much to open. So that was uh, at a Walmart. A uh, different Walmart. We have two. Uh, that was at the Walmart that doesn't generally have cars. It has a bunch of up-ins. And they were in one of the dump bins. Uh, so I was surprised to see it. I was also very surprised to see uh, the fast bed hauler, which is, of course, the treasure hunt for this case. Not the super treasure hunt. That one is the street creeper. Um, and uh, they did not have any regular super, well, they had lots of regulars street creepers but none none of the special ones but i was kind of surprised to find this now let's see here if i can zoom back enough so this is of course a five pack the fast and furious five pack um there's the artwork on the back and uh the sides so, strangely enough, uh, put you back down. Oops, try not to step on me. <laughs> strangely enough, uh, it's one of the ones that's got the names of the cars on the side. Usually, uh, most of these five packs you're guessing, or you know what they are. So, there we have an Impala. A 67 Impala. And it is from the Fate of the Furious. And then, from the Fast and Furious... We have a 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport in green. 
we from the Fast Five, we've got the uh, Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. Uh, that was Super Treasure Hunt this year. Uh, we got a Fast and Furious uh, 6. We got the uh, 71, no, 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. And, well, the Fast and Furious livery, what I call it. And then finally, we have a 70 Chevelle SS. And uh, that is in a kind of a matte gray, almost raw metallic. Um, so anyways, uh, this is the only one they had, and uh, I picked that up. They had, uh, so that was, uh, that was Tuesday. Uh, what else did I pick up that day? Ooh, not a Hot Wheels. Um, but I picked up this uh, M2, uh, 1960 VW delivery van. Uh, series 29. Now it's obviously the Moon Eyes release, and the, of course it's a Walmart exclusive. And as you can see by the tag on the top, uh, it is 500, 500 pieces. Um, that is a regular chase. Um, the way you can tell is it doesn't have silver chrome, it has black chrome. Uh, usually it's a very gaudy gold. Um, but uh, the black chrome is really, really nice. Uh, it also has a bright yellow interior, which is kind of, well, you can't see it in there. It's almost the same color as the body. So, um, don't usually try to pick these up, but, you know, probably is when you have money, <laughs> you spend it. Anyways, I enjoyed that, so I thought I'd pick it up. And that leads me off into Wednesday, went bike didn't do anything. Uh, Thursday morning, had to go drop something off, take the car, stopped in at Walmart, and lo and behold, I got the car I'm missing, the 1970 Chevelle SS in the primer gray. Uh, very, very same car that's in the five pack, so from the original Fast and Furious movie. Um, this is a one per case item so they had just stocked a whole new set and I picked one up I already have the other set I did pick up or I did pick up another red one because the one I had to have was all destroyed so that set's done well, what else did we find well I went over to the other section of the die cast on the same store the same day on Thursday morning and found a Morkin Mindy or in other words a green light Hollywood series 23 so uh, Nanu Nanu uh, this was the TV series Morkin Mindy with Robin Williams and Pam Dauber I used to watch it uh, at least until the f well I even watched the second season but uh, honestly jumped the shark or jumped the baby back then but anyways I really enjoyed the first season but this is a green machine. Gold, green wheels. Green base. I uh, didn't see a number when I looked. Um, unimportant. Anyways, I do pick up green machines. Simple as that. And uh, what else did I pick up? Well, today I went out and went looking around and, because it's my normal Saturday morning thing before I do chores and housework is uh, to go just look at the thrift stores and the uh, Walmart just to see what they stocked out because sometimes early in the morning they stock stuff up for Saturdays and Toys R Us delivered so this is the last of the team transports uh, wave three or four wave four I think that uh, I'm missing so yeah, it would be wave uh, wave three, because uh, this is number eight. So this is the Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTX with a Secura Sprinter in the JDML, or Japan Domestic Models Legends, or JDM Legends. Um, so this is the only one I'm missing. Uh, the two... Um, 
Datsuns were on the shelves. This was on the shelf, surprisingly, or not surprisingly, <laughs> the Supernovas were gone. Um, it would have been nice to pick up another one of them, but uh, this is completes the set. So I have those three, and then I have the previous six um, from the uh, other releases. Uh, these are over $20 Canadian with taxes. So there's a, a lot of Hot Wheels there. Anyways, that was, uh, that was my week. Um, pretty good one. Uh, I really am looking forward to finding the rest of the silhouettes. Um, I no longer have to find the Fast and Furious. A lot of Fast and Furious this year. You, you think they were making another movie. Anyhow, I hope you guys have great hunts, have fun, enjoy what you like. See ya.